All right guys, it's Sam at bmxshop.com here. Welcome back to our third product review. Uh, this one we're gonna feature two new Australian brands. Um, one of them, Division, that's not been in the UK before. And the other one, Colony, which you may have seen, um, but it's been quite short supply. Um, but we've got good stocks of both, and we'll talk you through some of the basic bits and pieces from each brand. Okay, so we're gonna kick things off with Division. Division is a small aftermarket high-end parts company based in Australia and these are a few of my hand-picked favourites from 2014. Okay, so first product up is the Division C bar. This is the tallest, widest bar in the 2014 range, one of my personal favourites. It's 29 and a half inches wide, nine inches tall, 12 degree back sweep, one degree up sweep, um, comes in black or chrome. Um, one of the things I like about this is it's really, really clean, really simple, has no stickers. Instead, it just has a little division tab welded onto the back of the bar. Okay, so naturally next up to match the bars is gonna be a stem. This is the new division terminal top load stem. Comes in black or polished. It's CNC machined out of uh, lightweight 7075 alloy. Standard six bolt design, nice 50 mil short reach and slightly taller 30 mil rise. Has a nice CNC top cap fitting um, and is a really, really clean looking stem. Again, no logos, just a little division engraved in the front of the stems. Okay, so the third product in the front end lineup from Division is the new Formosa fork. It's available in the black that I've got here or the chrome that's up behind me on the shelf. It's a nice technical fork, um, all the features you'd expect for the price point. Uh, CNC machined chrome Ollie steerer tube with an integral bearing race. 4130 chrome Ollie heat treated legs. Peg friendly cap dropouts, 10 mil axle slot. Uh, overall, it's a good aggressive geometry for a street or park build, and to top it off, it's got a nicely, uh, nicely machined CNC top cap, which fits with the terminal stem for a super clean finish. All right, so next up, I've picked a couple of drive chain components from Division. These are the new two-piece Stronghold cranks. Um, they use a hollow 22 mil axle instead of the usual 19, and that's held in place by an oversized heat-treated chrome Oli bolt on the on the left-hand side of the cranks. The cranks are left and right-hand drive compatible tubular 4130 heat treated arms and they're subtly finished with a little division brazed on tab on the inside. Compatible with most chain rings and any mid or Spanish 22 mil bottom bracket. And to top off the cranks, we've got the new division Talladega sprocket. This is a CNC machined 7075 aluminum sprocket in a five spoke design. Um, camera might not pick this up, but there's some super fine detailing in between the spokes. I think this is an awesome looking sprocket. Uh, super light, super heavy duty, matches the uh, Stronghold cranks perfectly. Okay, so those are my top five picks for Division. There's loads more stuff over on the site. There's headsets, there's hub guards, there's pegs. Um, but for now, we'll leave it there and we'll move on to some of the Colony stuff. Okay, so to kick things off with Colony, chosen probably one of the hottest products and most talked about products at the moment, the Free Coaster Hub. This is Colony's version. Uh, it uses the standard patented KHE internals with the three slack adjustments uh, in the Colony shell, which is CNC machined, uh, oversized bearings on the, uh, on the drive side and the clutch side, standard cones on the non-drive side. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit slimmer than some other stuff on the market. Um, and again, obviously being a free coaster, it allows you to disconnect all the drive chain uh, and coast the bike backwards. Something a little bit unusual about the Colony Hub, they made their own specific free coaster guard for it. This replaces the drive cone uh, and does up against the bearing, which is specific to the Colony Hub. Uh, some other hubs you have to sort of uh, adjust or adapt the normal hub guard to fit, but this is a specific hub guard to fit the Colony free coaster shell. So a great little package. Okay, so sticking with Colony Hubs, if the free coaster is not your sort of thing, I've got the new Wasp cassette hub and matching Wasp front hub. This particular set is in the new Colony Rainbow Finish, which is really popular with you guys at the moment. They're sold individually as a front or a rear, so you can buy them as and when you need them. The rear uses Colony's new engagement system, gives it a nice prominent buzz, hence the Wasp name. Uh, both the hubs use a super fast sealed bearing uh, and rely on female axles and use a 17 mil axle bolt to fit them into the bike. Okay, so if hubs and wheel building aren't your thing, we've got a couple of pre-built Colony wheels out of the box, ready to ride. Um, this particular one in my hand and the one behind makes the Contour wheel set. This uses Colony's clone male rear hub and female front hub, both built onto Colony Contour rims. Both 36 old, both available in a couple of colours. They're ready to ride out the box with the rim strip. Um, one thing to add on the rear here is the cassette on this uses Colony's bushing driver system, so it's bearingless. Uh, a little bit less maintenance, a little harder wear and tear. The rear hub's male, the front hub's female, ready to ride right out of the box. Okay, so the finishing touch to most sort of wheels and hubs these days is obviously pegs. 
Uh, Colin, they make three different pegs. Uh, you guys probably already know all about them, so I'll keep this one nice and uh, nice and brief. There's uh, anyway plastic peg, alloy core plastic outer sleeve, and then the sleeves are available aftermarket. There's the one-way alloy peg, which is a little bit better for sort of skate parks and ramp use. And then there's the one-way chrome molly, which is a bit better for street or heavy duty skate parks. The chrome molly and the alloy pegs all use anti-rotational pins. And uh, something a little bit unusual about these is Colony have actually drilled them and marked them for front left, front right, uh, in two set positions, which is a little bit unusual, uh, something you don't normally find on most pegs. Okay, moving on, I've picked a couple of seats from Colony. One of them's a combo, one of them's a pivotal setup. Um, so we'll start off with the Alex Heim combo. This is a small, slim, uh, mid padded seat um, with a nice short post on there. So it's ideal for sort of skate park or light street use. Um, super lightweight seat, signature Alex Heim embroidery on the side uh, and a nice strong combo base. It's fixed position, uh, fixed in place with a 135 mil adjustment on the post. Okay, second up in the seats, we've got the Colony Fat Shield Pivotal Seat. This is a standard pivotal base seat with the fat padding, uh, covered in sort of a fake Kevlar textured material, so it's a nice grippy seat, compatible with any pivotal post. Colony do make an extra long 200mm pivotal post if you want the extra height out of your seat, which is quite popular at the moment. 25.4, uh, standard pivotal head, but like 200mm long. Okay, so last up, my final pick for the Colony parts is the ever popular Colony Fantastic Plastic Pedals. They seem to be really popular with you guys at home and they've also been photographed on quite a few pro bikes even though they don't ride for Colony. Um, they feature 12 molded pins per side and they're also knurled for extra grip. Shin friendly, shoe friendly uh, and they're all available in hard black plastic so there's no brittle plastic colours anymore. Uh, instead Colony have dip dyed the ends of the axle uh, in four colours as well as the black. Okay, so that wraps up the Division and Colony product review. I hope my picks have given you guys an insight into each of the brand. Uh, the full range in all colours and all sizes is on the website for you guys to look at right now. Uh, big shout out to Clint and all the guys over at Colony HQ in Australia. The uh, product's looking really good this year. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. As usual, if there's anything you want to see me review next edit, give a comment in the box below or send us an email and we'll see what we can do for you.